right, yeah, Sean here. Um, so I just got done watching um, Independence Day Resurgence, the sequel to the 1996 movie. Um, and yeah, um, watching this movie kind of reminds me of something I said in my Punisher Warzone video. Yeah, my friend John said that Punisher Warzone wasn't even worth watching, that it was really stupid, except for the R-rated violence, and I'm kind of wishing I had listened to him and not watched it, because, yeah, this movie's really stupid. Yeah, the movie's that bad. Um, I should have listened to my friend John and not seen it. Because it's like not even right. Oh boy, let's go into the plot. Alright, so, so Independence Day Resurgence the night, is a 2016 science fiction film written by Roland Emmerich, written by Emmerich, Dean Devlin, Nicholas Wright, James Woods, and James Vanderbilt. The sequel to the 1996 of Independence Day stars Liam Neeson, uh, or, no, not Liam Neeson, I wish, Liam Hemsworth, um, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, Jesse Usher, M Milk, Micah, Ma what, M. Monroe, I can't pronounce people's names these days, Silla Ward, and Ben Spiner, and William Bickner. I have a sneaking suspicion this movie was why Fickner was not in Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, but then again, his character was not even mentioned at all anyway. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so this movie takes place 20 years after the last movie. Um, well, it was also released 20 years ago. Uh, um, where the human race has basically recovered after the what's being referred to as the War of 96. Um, where you guys saw the first movie where the aliens came down, trashed the planet basically, and etc. etc. Well, after that, humans have integrated the alien technology into our own so that we could have a bigger arsenal. And apparently, there's not been war for 20 years because all nations have had a peace treaty. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that one. Yeah, I got called bullshit. Yeah, I, I really call bullshit. But this is science fiction, so what the fuck? So, why not? Because the script requires it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bill Pullman is no longer president anymore. Although for some strange reason they still call him Mr. President. I don't know, but okay. Basically what happens is 20 years later, basically the events of the first movie happen all over again. Aliens come down. Um, we have to attack them on Independence Day, and apparently Red Spiner was supposedly dead, but they never said he was dead because they took that out of the theatrical cut, and so he's basically, that was basically a right away, a right out, so they could say later in a sequel that, no, he's not dead, he's just in a coma, and that's pretty much what happened with his characters, that after the events of the first movie, he just slipped into a coma for 20 years. And he woke up just as the aliens were attacking. What a coincidence! Okay. The old cast members, they, they, they do the best they can with the material they're given. The new characters didn't give a fuck about them. Especially Liam Hemsworth. His brother, he's not. Put it that way. I can see why I've never watched Hunger Games, because his brother, he's not. Because... Even in Chris Hemsworth's 12 minutes of Star Trek 2009, he was better than his brother in this movie. And that's saying something. Um, apparently Will Smith is not in this one, although he is mentioned and there's a picture of him. And I think what I read is because Smith didn't want to do another father-son science fiction movie related movie after the movie After Earth, which... By what I've heard of that movie, I've never seen it. Good call, Will Smith. Looking forward to seeing Suicide Squad, even though I don't really care for that movie. But, yeah, um... Not to mention the kid who plays Smith's stepson in the first movie. Recast. Um, Mae Whitman from the first movie played Pullman's daughter. She's recast by the actress whose last name is Marone. That I can't pronounce her first name. Um... Which, yeah, fuck you. 
Um, and yes, yeah, first Smith's character, he's basically killed off by saying he died in a plane in a, in a testing thing. So, yeah, dead. Yeah, you made it so you can't ever bring him back if he, if he wants to come back. No, he's just dead now. Nope, Smith can't come back anymore. Fuck you. Um, but yeah. This movie was completely boring from start to finish. Um, like I said, I give the old players credit for trying this. You know, they do give the best performances they can with the shitty material they're given. Um, and I'm going to put a little spoiler on this because, okay, do you guys remember in the first movie, Randy Quaid's character, he's, in, he's kind of the nutball who ends up sacrificing himself in the end, where he says, I'm back, or whatever, when he goes into the alien ship? Yeah, that's very much Paul Pullman's role in this movie, is he goes into the alien ship, sacrifices himself, and dies. Fuck you! Why in the hell would you kill a Dr. James Harvey from Casper? That's a bad movie! Um, and they don't even acknowledge it. They just, by the by, yeah, it's like they don't even acknowledge his death. Not even the daughter is looking around, would be looking around, where's my father? Nope, not even that. Nope, 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 nope. Um, this movie's just a train wreck, put it that way. It's boring, it's nonsensical, it's basically a rehash of the first movie. Like, literally. Not to mention, like, the first hour of the movie... Barely any of the old guys, we'll call them, have any screen time together at all. Because you got Goldblum in the desert, you have, and then, and pretty much most of the old people back at Area 51, and they barely have any screen time together at all. Um, so, yeah, this movie is completely boring from start to finish. The new characters I didn't really give a shit about. The replacements, will say, they tried, but there's no filling in for the older actors. Um, and speaking of the older actors, they gave the best performances of these. They gave the best performances of this movie, put it that way. And that's not saying much, because this movie's pretty bad. Um, so, that's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya.